Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the dreaded ball below your feet in a bunker. How do we hit it? How do we make it easier to hit? Here's a few things that we can do. So one thing that I want you to keep in mind is that whenever you're, you're off balance or whenever you're put into a weird position or a weird uh, lie or a weird setup to have to get to a ball or a ball, ball above your feet, anything like that, your brain, your body will always try to correct itself. It's always gonna try and maintain your balance. So whenever you're lining up to a shot like this, the natural reaction of this shot is if I am well out of setup range here, I mean, I am, I am dropping down completely. I'm all the way, I'm, I have no choke up on the club. I'm letting it go all the way out. There's one constant that I need to maintain is that when I am lining up like this, my body is going to want to go back to balance. It's going to want to get away from that lip because it senses danger. It thinks that I'm going to fall over or thinks I'm going to get myself off balance and fall. We want to fight that. We want to fight that instinct because what's going to happen here is in order to make contact with this ball, I need to be in impact position, very off balance where I'm going to be right there. Now, there's a good way to practice this. And if you ever have, if you have a practice bunker around your facility, this is perfect to use, or you can do it around your course whenever you're out there and it's, and there's nobody out there and just, just take a few balls, try this shot, because if you're in this situation, it'll greatly help. All I'm going to do is when I take my swing, I'm going to fall. I'm going to let myself fall into this bunker because of one main reason. If I were to take a swing at this and just go naturally where my body wants to go, I might completely miss this because my body wants to come back to comfort, wants to come back to balance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a swing here and all I'm going to do is let that weight fall forward and step through that bunker. Now you see there, I made great contact and I fell into the bunker. I didn't fall over, I didn't get hurt or anything. All I did was allow myself to walk into that bunker. Made solid contact, made it 150 yards. If you can do that a few times around, just give yourself some practice. It'll make these situations much easier. Thank you all for joining me here today for another tip of the week. Be sure to check out the, my YouTube, Better Golf Bryson. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I'm always looking for more tips and tricks that you guys like to see. Be sure to check out my Instagram. I believe, be sure to leave a link in the description below. Other than that, hit them straight. Have a great day.